Oh, she's going, she's going. Hold on. She's going for the wildebeest and the zebra. Hold on, everybody. Sorry, Impala. She's gone. Tax Fugger Jumbo, there's a um, fuzzy in Gala that's hunting the zebra here. There she goes, there she goes, look at that! Zebra streaming out, there goes the lioness. All racing away. And there's a giraffe as well. I've lost track of where the lions are. I think they've gone across to the western side of quarantine. Come on, Dave, we gotta go fast. Where is she gone? Standing by Tax. Sorry, everybody, I've just got to speak to Taxon as well. Tax, it looks like Mufazi and Gala. She just chased the zebra down here. Uh, I've lost her visual though. Uh, Tax, my last visual was heading towards western edge of quarantine. Where did she go? The zebra have all escaped unscathed. Where did she go? I don't know, you probably didn't even have a view of the lion. Did you, Dave? No. Where did she go? Promise you there was a lion here. They're all looking that side. I wonder if she got something there. Hold on, everybody. Impala, I'm coming through this way. Don't run into the lion. You stay there. I wonder if they got something. They're all looking this way. There we go, got it. What an exciting start to our live safari. Tax, I've got her here. Come towards the bush dinner site. Uh, you know that uh, big dead marula where Kukurula was the other day. She's here. Uh, a firm. Oh, keep coming up. You should get my visual now. There she is. She missed her hunt. She was going for the zebra. Something large enough for her. Where is the rest of your pride, girl? One lone lioness on quarantine. See? Told you. So much for Taylor and myself's plan. We're gonna split up. We're gonna search the boundary. Which lioness is this? One of the Nkuhuma pride, presumably. <coughs> okay, let's get a bit closer. Sorry, girl. You tried for breakfast, but no such luck. Oh! Two lionesses. Here we go. And I think the third lioness was the one that went racing after those zebra earlier and then missed out. And morning to live your dream. Absolutely, I agree. I was also worried about the young zebra. I thought we were about to have one of those afternoons where you start by saying, look how cute it is, and then it dies. That happened to me with a baby impala not so long ago in Karula. Look, she wants to go for that wildebeest again. You can see her tense posture, they're hungry. You can see the flap of skin around their bellies. Uh, we actually want to just keep a little bit of distance from them. First of all, so that we don't mess up their hunt, but also at the same time, they're very unpredictable in which way they're going to go. So it's actually easier for us to keep a slight distance. But I'm going to go forward because they're after that wildebeest. I don't think they're going to get it though. The element of surprise is gone, but you never know that she's going again. There she goes. Okay. Half hearted jog and the wildebeest not having any of it. <laughs> Impala all racing away. Sorry, girl. No finesse there. You have been spotted. You can hear the alarm calls popping like popcorn all around her. Now she's gonna try again for those Impala. She's just trying to get lucky. Look there, she's jogging half-heartedly, waiting for one of them to panic and run into her. She's determined. 
The other line is less so. Okay. What an exciting start. I'm trying to decide which line is to follow. Look at the way they're splitting up. The one lioness has gone that way, the other lioness has gone this way. Look, she's going to wait in the hope that something is going to come racing this way. The Impala is streaming towards her. That's exactly what they want. Come on. For sensitive viewers, I'll let you know when you need to stop watching. Look, you see, she's lying flat. She's waiting. The Impala don't realize there's two lionesses on this clearing. And the other lioness is just trying to guide them towards her. This is our best possible position. If anyone's going to catch them, she is. The other lioness doesn't have the surprise. Now, Michael, you want to know why Amber Eyes and the young lioness have been away from the pride. I think they were just in estrus. I know that the young lioness was mating with a male not too long ago. However, while she was mating with a male, the young uh, Amber Eyes did make her way back towards the Inkahumas. So I think it just has to do with Easter cycles and then potentially they just lost each other for a while. It was very rainy, which would have made it harder to find each other. Sorry, I just need to chat to Taxon. Oh, come on, radio, don't do this to me now. Ah, don't do this. <laughs> 